Hey, it's John here, and this is foreclosure number 153 about pairwise disjoint sets. This says that every set in this set can't be a subset of another set. I think that's clear enough. For example, everything here is unique, whereas here A is a subset of other sets, so that's false. Alright, let's do it. So we will have our test case here. And we'll make a function in this conjoint, which will take in a set of sets. Everything's working. There we go. Everything's working. All right. So what we'll do is have a let binding here, wherein we take our sets and turn them into a sequence, so that we can grab them by index later. Okay, so now we have a sequence, and let's just make a length variable equal to the count of that. Okay, so now we can do a for loop uh, where S1 is going to be the range of up range through length and s2 will be the same all right and then we only want to do this when s1 is not equal to s2 we don't want to compare we're not we're looping through the same thing twice and we don't want to compare elements that are have the same index and what we want to do is a closure dot set closure dot set intersection to see what things these have in common and it'll be the int of ss and s1 int of ss s2 all right so we have our for loop going through the same set twice. We call it S1 the first time, S2 the second time. Uh, we only run this when we don't have the same index for each loop. And we grab S1 and S2 elements out of our sequence of sets. We run the intersection function to see what they have in common. All right, let's evaluate that. And there we see that we get a bunch of a bunch of nothing basically, which is what we expect. We don't expect an intersection between a bunch of disjoint things. If we run this one on the other hand, then we should see a bunch of intersections. So here we see a bunch. Okay, so then we have all these intersections and we just want to return true when every one of these intersections every one of these intersections is empty. So there's the every function I believe. Yeah. Return true if it's true for everything in the collection. So everything should be empty. There we go, false for that one. Should be true for this one. Let's see what we get. True for that one. All right, let us plug it into the machine and see what we get. Green, 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 green. Yes, got it right. Thank you for watching.